Hello everyone, my name is Steven, and today I'll be talking about microwave resonators for global control of electron spins in scalable quantum computing. So first, what is a quantum computer? Well, classical computers use bits to perform computations, but quantum computers use quantum bits, or qubits for short, to perform computations. Now, why might we want to do quantum computation with a quantum computer? Well, in 1984, Peter Shore published an algorithm showing how to factor integers quickly using a quantum computer. And this is a remarkable result, since factoring on a classical computer is thought to be very difficult. And it turns out that quantum computers can also be used for practical tasks as well. So one notable example is the simulation of quantum chemistry. Uh, quantum computers are thought to be able to perform these simulations much more quickly, which could have massive ramifications across many areas of science and technology. At the time that Peter Shore published his algorithm, there were no implementations of qubits. Uh, but once the power of quantum computation was realized, uh, people thought of ways in order to implement these qubits in the real world. And so in Lawson de Vincenzo's seminal paper, they showed that uh, electron spins confined to quantum dots could act as ideal qubits. So electron spins are two-level systems. They can either point spin up or spin down. And these two levels correspond to the two, two states of the qubits. Any quantum computer of this type, however, will need to uh, be able to implement single qubit rotations, and in this case that corresponds to being able to flip the spin of the electron between up and down at will. The two most common methods to implement these single qubit rotations, so electron spin resonance, an example of which is shown on the left, and electron dipole spin resonance, an example of which is shown on the right, both require components on the chip much larger than the scale of an individual quantum dot. So in the case of electron spin resonance, uh, the quantum dot, which is approximately the size of this blue circle here, requires a large uh, strip line nearby in order to implement these single qubit rotations. And in the case of electron dipole spin resonance, the quantum dot, which is approximately the size of this red circle here, requires micromagnets, which are all the green indicated on this area here. So both of these methods have been shown to work for small scales, but they are not a viable solution to implement you know, a massive quantum computer. Our approach is to have a resonator off chip, so a schematic of what it would look like on the left, uh, to produce a magnetic field over a large enough area to drive many thousands of qubits at simultaneously. On the right hand side here we've got a schematic, 3D schematic of what it would look like, so we've got a strip line here that couples power into the resonator and the quantum dot devices would be below. In order to validate that we're able to produce a strong magnetic field with this resonator, we perform some simulations. And so on the left-hand side here, we can see that there is a strong magnetic field being produced by the resonator near the center of the resonator. After the promising simulation results, we then fabricated some resonators to characterize them. And so we can see a blue trace, which is the simulated trace, and the orange trace that was the measured trace, showing qualitatively that the resonators are behaving as we expect them to. A thank you to these organizations for making this research possible.